All right, for EDM producers or music producers, a lot of times ahead of a record, you will do, you'll build a sound palette. Same thing for game designers and film people. First thing you want to do is look at the picture, look at the game, think of the record, and build sounds for about a week. Come up with great, great sounds for a whole week. And right here, I'm in 100 BPMs. Okay, I'm going to mute this. And might I point out that recent versions of Logic do what Ableton has always done, which is go to extreme lengths in tempo. Okay, and when I take this tempo down, if I grab the one and then try to go down, it's not going to give me anything. But if I grab the one and go up, it'll go up in increments. Okay, however, if I grab the second digit or the third digit, then I can go down like so. Okay. So now this is going to turn into a room ambience because of the low speed. Listen. Okay, so what was once a vocal, if I were to add just a little bit of reverb to this, is now an engine room on a spaceship. or like a super sub to electromagnetic spaceship flying over. Extreme tempo. Now, what, what happens when I take this ridiculously up? I get some red. The red is basically saying these are going to be so fast that um, it's just going to sound like chirping. And I still have that marquee selection, which I need to get out of. And if I were to be working on this track, I would do something like just cut these parts away. And right in here, I have an interface sound for a computer or something. You know, this is a, or this is a, the hammer drawing back on a 22nd century gun or whatever. Extreme tempo. Okay, and then in back down, you get, you under, start to get into what recognizable. Again, I can also take something and just time stretch it down in there as well. And look at, we're at 5 BPM, so it's very slow. In love, I'm... And that is so low right there, you can't even hear it. So that's extreme tempo. Now what happens if I come across some pieces that I really like. Just for the sake of feasibility, I gotta up this a bit. Say I really, really like that. Get in here and trim this off a little bit. And, you know, if we were working on it, I would take, uh, let me just do it. I'll just take this fade tool. Just add a little bit of fade on the end. Okay, and my, I would actually put reverb on it. But then you go right in here, right click it, bounce in place to a new track, leave the, leave the other, mute it. Include the audio tail, include automation, no, uh, normalize, typically off, but we could do one or two of those, and then you bounce it off. 
and I muted the original, and here's the, the bounce in place with the .bip on it. And this becomes part of my sound palette for what I'm doing. All right, so that's using tempo to obscure sources. In the next video, we're going to look at the speed fader tools.